Scary clowns have fascinated and horrified us for generations. From the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space and Stephen King's Pennywise, to real life horror clowns like Pogo, created by the serial killer John Wayne Gacy. Many find the painted face and forced smiles all too creepy. Hello there, today we're going to dissect the haunted history of America's scariest motel called the Clown Motel. We will look at its humble beginnings and the spooky graveyard next to it that is said to have many spirits lingering from a mining disaster that tore this small community apart. Leona and Leroy David built the motel in 1985 in memory of their late father who had a passion for clowns and collected them until his death. There are said to be over 2,000 clowns of various sizes throughout the property, which would send many people with coulrophobia, a fear of clowns, into a spin of dread and cold sweats. Guests who stay here find themselves immersed in the theme too. As you walk into the motel, you are greeted with dolls and teddy bears dressed in a variety of bold colours, with staff also joining in with the theme by wearing clownish makeup. The motel is situated in a former mining town that has a very dark history. You see, once there were said to be more than 50,000 people living in Tonopah, but when the silver mines closed, that number dropped to around 2,500. At the centre of all the ghostly hauntings at the Clown Motel is the Tonopah Cemetery, situated right next door. It was founded in May 1901, with John Randall Weeks being the first person buried there, closing in 1911, when the cemetery was classified as full, holding around 300 bodies. The Clown Motel has a reputation for lingering spirits, so let's take a look at what hauntings have occurred here and still do. Starting with four of their themed rooms. One of the motel's front desk managers decided to use room 108 after feeling unwell while on shift. While resting, he started to feel worse and called the front desk for help but there was no answer. Becoming alarmed, he rang his sister who dialed 911, but sadly he died on his way to the hospital. Now wanting to find out answers, the front desk agent was questioned about why they never answered the call, but they said the phone never rang. Even backing this claim up with video surveillance footage, which clearly showed the phone didn't ring. This room nowadays has a horror theme, which is the Stephen King movie, It. But was something stopping his call from being answered? Did a supernatural entity interfere? Now in room 111, the story goes that a terminally ill man came to live out his last days here after deciding he didn't want to be a burden to his family. Every night he would go to sleep, believing he would never wake again, but always did. He later told motel staff that in the early hours of each morning there would be a dark shadow looming in the corner of his room, as if waiting to grab his soul. The man claimed he begged the entity to take him, but was denied. Now knowing he was dying and desperate for it all to be over, the poor guy shot himself in the motel's car park. If you decide to stay in this room nowadays though, you will find the theme to be The Exorcist, which with a looming shadow said to haunt here, makes it a stay for the brave amongst us. On the second floor in room 210, a guy from Arizona stayed after suffering from excruciating back pain, something he'd struggled with for many years. Now, we'd never been able to find something that eased the pain and there was no medical diagnosis as to what was causing his issues. He stayed at the Clown Motel and miraculously awoke the next morning practically free from pain. Call it the actions of a desperate man, but he decided to live at the motel from then on, thinking that something inside the property was helping to relieve his condition. It's said that he never had any severe pain again and died in that very room six years later. Now, even though the current theme for this room is the Halloween franchise, it seems to be a favorite with guests as they believe the ghost here to be a positive force. But what do you think? Do you believe an entity was helping to relieve his discomfort? Have you ever experienced something similar? I'd love to know in the comments below. Then a close friend of Texas billionaire Howard Hughes decided to stay in room 214. Melvin Dummer had only meant to stay for one night, but this turned into three years. It's thought that a spirit that haunts the room took a shine to Melvin and even after him leaving, still visits in the hope that he'll return. Guests have experienced lights being turned on and off, and their personal belongings either going missing or being hidden. 
The horror theme for this room is Friday the 13th. But it's not just these four theme rooms that experience the paranormal. Guests have said that an entity goes around the motel and knocks on the doors and footsteps are heard, while others have heard voices and seen shadowy figures not only in their rooms, but at the graveyard too. But the scariest thing of all is that the many clown figures throughout the motel are rumoured to become possessed. Guests have seen dolls in the lobby turning to look at them, while others have mentioned a seven foot tall clown figure who appears at the foot of their beds, staring at them, only to disappear before their eyes. You see, there is a legend that the clowns are being used as vessels by the spirits of the miners that died on February 23rd, 1911, when a fire broke out in the Tonopah Belmont mine, killing 17 men. At around 5.50 a.m., a fire was noticed burning some timber piled up near the bottom of a shaft. It was believed that a candle had fallen and started the blaze. Foolishly, it would seem, the superintendent at the time told everyone to ignore the fire and get back to work. Before long, the flames had gained ground and the decision was made to withdraw the men from the mines, except for those who were said to be actively fighting the fire. Now these men had no training in fighting flames and so resulted in many becoming trapped inside with smoke becoming a serious issue. But one man would go down in local history for his bravery in helping out that day. William F. Murphy, nicknamed Big Bill, was among the men who volunteered to help. It is said that he went down into the mines three times, rescuing the men from a horrible death. On the third trip down, things took a little took a little longer as conditions grew more and more deadly. When the cage finally arrived back up to the surface, there was no sign of Bill. One of the survivors said that he had seen someone fall out of the cage as it ascended the mine and everyone knew it had to be him. His last known words before he went back that third time were, well boys, I've made two trips and I'm nearly all in, but I'll try again. The brave man has a monument dedicated to him which stands outside the Tonopah post office. So as you can see, there's been lots of turmoil and horror in this small town, which makes no surprise that many of the dead might have unfinished business or feel aggrieved at the way they died. Apparitions have been witnessed walking from the clown motel to the graveyard with voices heard saying, we mind and we died that day. Guests have also stated that they have seen a man leaving the cemetery and wandering over to the motel at all hours of the day and night. A previous owner tried talking to this entity, which made it stop in its tracks before disappearing. Throughout the motel, scratching sounds can be heard, and people have said that they have been touched by invisible hands and felt cold spots. Even staff have heard footsteps and knocking from unoccupied rooms, and a housekeeper complains of feeling extreme anxiety while going about her duties, even seeing doors shut by themselves. Now, the motel is more than happy for guests to explore the grounds at night and record anything they experience, even asking that if you do witness something, to share it with them through their business email. If you love the paranormal and a chance to experience something truly spooky for yourself, then this is the place for you. The motel does have a disclaimer though, which states, by visiting the clown motel, you acknowledge that you may encounter interaction with spiritual and or unexplained phenomena and or other unexplainable, unusual or paranormal activity or interactions which may include risks which may or may not be foreseeable. The Clown Motel will not be held liable for any bodily injury, damage to personal property, emotional distress, death or other harm caused by the aforementioned. You gotta love legal talk. So if that disclaimer doesn't scare you off, room rates start at $85 to $135 per night with the most expensive being the themed rooms. Now it is pet friendly and considering animals can often sense the paranormal, maybe that's a good thing as they might warn you of a spooky clown ghost watching you while you sleep. Sweet dreams, dissectors.